Yeah. Okay. So Tamim will join shortly. Okay, so can you give a quick intro about yourself and uh, how many years of experience in React and Node.js? Yeah, uh, coming to myself, this is Kandu Kumar. I have taught around 15 years of experience, completely full style developer. And coming to myself, I'm coming to myself. Hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Coming to my skill set, uh, I have the skills HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JVD, Bootstrap, Angular, React, Node, and, and also I have the experience in PHP and MySQL. So this is, uh, this is my overall skill set and my relevant experience in React, Node, Angular is more than six years. And uh, PHP, MySQL also is more than seven years. As a complete UA developer, I have more than 10 years of experience. And coming to my own so responsible team, uh, as a senior developer, I need to work on the enhancements, fixing the bugs, and leading the team. And uh, I need to pass with the client interactions, blooming sessions, agile methodology, technologies, and deployment process. And I also use multiple systems. So, this is all my roles and responsibilities. Okay. So, are you a developer or are you managing a team? It's like a, it's a lead developer. Uh, so, I need to do both things so and do the coding at the same time to um, have the team also so, yeah. okay so, so can you need to work on some of the work i need to send to developers or guide them and take the updates from them so all the things yeah okay so can you share your entire screen my yeah can you share your entire screen which one can you can you share your screen okay screen okay you got screen you got screen right yeah okay so so can you rate yourself out of fine javascript yeah sure out of five, I can rate myself for uh, four. Okay, so let's start with JavaScript first. Okay. So, what are the different data types present in JavaScript? So we have the, the so two types of the, the data types like primitive and non-primitive. And the primitive we can call like a, a string number, a, a string number boolean null undefined. So all these are comes under primitive. That is non-primitive is comes under the object. So these are the data types available in JavaScript. Okay, so explain hosting in JavaScript. So hosting means uh, uh, so all the variable definitions and function definitions is moves to the top of the uh, to file, top of the execution of the file. So so using this hosting concept, we can uh, declare the uh, we can assign a variable value to a variable before the declaration also because uh, it moves the all the variable definition function that is top of defined that's right okay so can you tell me the output for this three yeah it's a five five and uh, Five, five. Consider these all. All these three are in separate, uh, separate file. Okay. Okay. So can you tell the first one? The first one is five. Okay. Second one? Oh, no, no. Uh, the first one is the is the undefined. Is the undefined, right? That's right. The second one is also undef uh, undefined. And then the mm -hmm. tower one, uh, it will may be 33. Okay. So can you tell me the difference between where, let, and the const? So where, let, and const is both, all three are used for the, uh, to declare, to, for the variable declaration. But the main difference is uh, between where and let. Uh, where we can def define the variable uh, using the where, is you can use the global scope. I mean, we can use, the, we can declare the variable. <laughs> I mean, if you declare, I mean, if you declare a variable using the where uh, outside the function, we can use also inside the function also. Uh, but let like, is like a local scope. 
في ديكلير ذا فاليو ذا ليت اوبشن كان يوز اوف سايد اوف سايد ذا بلوك اذر از ليت بت ذا كومنت ذا كونست كونست از في ديكلير ذا فاليو ذا ليت كونست كان هاف تشينج تو ذا بروجرام ذوز ار ذا مين ديفرنس Okay, so can you tell me the output for this? I think the first one will give the error. Uh, already defined, right? So it's giving the error. Second one also will give the error because you cannot change the value for the constant. Third uh, one, it is the name hello is yes, twenty. Uh, name hello is yes, twenty. Hello is yes, twenty. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Fourth one is the um, hello. Okay. So yeah. can you explain the third one? Yeah. See, actually, if you declare the variable with a constant, you cannot change through the program. So uh, we cannot alter the value. That means. For the uh, the for the third one, uh, we are we are altering the value. Uh, this is me. I can I can battery charging is over. Just a minute. Third one, we can replace the value. I mean, we can so in the first step five, and we can be, we can remove the five and paste the ten. That means we are changing the value. But coming coming to the object, we cannot we cannot completely change that value. Just altering the value, just along with the name hello, just adding the other parameter. So object and for object and for an array for adding the new elements, uh, it will take for the it will act for the constant. Yeah. Okay. 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 So can you explain implicit type position in JavaScript? Type position in JavaScript. Type position. Type, type coercion. Can you type? Can you spell? Okay. Can I spell it? Did you hear about coercion? The voice is breaking up. Then coercion. No, no. I didn't hear about it. Here, but. Uh, no. Okay. So let me give one an example. Can you tell me the output for this three? Okay, this one. Okay, um, the first one is the six. Uh, the first okay. One is and the second one is the three. Mm -hmm. Third one is nine. Can you explain? Uh, see, uh, for the the string, uh, the for double quotes, I use uh, double quotes is a string, and the number is the. But if you use the plus co plus contact uh, between the two uh, two strings and number, if it's, uh, both side both are numbers, it will take the number number only. But if it, there is a string in the text, the text is the concatenation symbol, not the addition symbol. Yeah. Okay, so if I give like this, thirty-three. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Confusing. Six, six, six. Only. Six only. Sorry. Okay. Six yeah. Okay. So, can you explain passed by value and passed by reference? Passed by value is directly we can assign the value variable to the other value. So, it's a passed by value. Reference means we take the uh, the variable reference. So, we can use that and and symbol for it. This is passed by reference. That means it's take okay. the reference of that variable position. Yeah. Okay, so did we use passed by reference in JavaScript that unsymbol? No. Okay, then how can we achieve passed by reference in JavaScript? See, actually, we can send the value. Uh, for example, uh, if we add it, we can send to add it passed by reference. Okay. Uh, but if we if we, if we send it, for example, I have an array. In a variable, if I send the other variable, that that take the reference of that array. That means if you change the that array, automatically it will change. If you don't have that one, then I will use the spread operator. So if if you want a new array instead of the by reference, then use the spread operator. So can you tell me the output for this?
is the name hello just a minute just a minute no no it's i think it will give the error we cannot change the constant okay okay generally if we, if we change the value of the constant it will give the error this way what you hear in this case it, 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 it is the name test i think name test only in the inside the function is the name object name hello but outside the function okay. name test i mean okay yeah. yeah so can you explain what is immediately invoked function in javascript so the function after the immediate invoked function means the function will execute after after the definition after its function defined Okay. So can you give an example? Uh, I can give uh, like a uh, survey uh, of like function, third name, and immediately we can execute that function. A function, a number of function immediately that will look uh, like this one. Example I hear. Okay, so explain higher order function in JavaScript. Higher order function, if a function, if a function takes another function as an argument, that function is called the higher order function. So that function takes the another function as an argument and do some changes and give and return the new function as a callback function. Okay. So explain closer in JavaScript. So close so, the uh, inner function which has the access to the outer function variables. Uh, so it's like I said, exclude scope. So that inner function has the outer function variables and do something. Uh, but uh, generally, these closure functions we can use in the data privacy, data privacy. concept. Yeah. So what is carrying in JavaScript? Carrying is a function. Uh, one function goes to the other function argument. It's continuous with the carry function. Can you give an example? Like um, A, B, C, something like this. A, B, something like this. Forget, but uh, the format I forget something like um, it will take the one function output at a value to the other function that comes like a curry function. Something like you can say, I forget that one format. Okay, so are you familiar with the front end or back end? I'm front end. Okay, so I'll give one question. Hello? Yeah. Back end also expressed in the PHP and MySQL and Node. Okay. Most said in the front end, most time I think React and I'll look like this. Okay, I'll give one one question. Here I just pasted a placeholder, JSON placeholder okay. that will be the API. So what you do, you need to fetch the user list from this API okay. and you need okay. to display in the React. You can use any online playground. So you want to display in table format? Or? Yeah. Okay. In the react
so all the details are hello hello just you need to display a name email and the city okay So can you add one input text box so if i type anything on that it will be filter by 
that name. So you can use username. Username, okay.
Okay, so can you erase back? Okay, where all the data goes? Okay, okay. Okay, can you type one by one each letter? If I type yes, yes, okay, suppose if they such by the letters wise, yeah. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so can you erase back? Okay, so let's jump to next question. I just pasted in the chat. Okay. Okay. So here the question is simple. So if ID is repeater, we have to merge into one and add those values. Here the here in this example, ID one is repeater. We have to merge into one and add those values.
Hello, Kiran Kumar. So, so can they are uh, something is missing. Uh, so, so shall we move this? Yeah, we already have run out of time. Okay. So, so can it's done. It's done. The next one. Yeah, it's done. Something here is coming. Just tell me. Sorry, now it's fine. Okay, now we're done. Yeah, done. Okay, so let's move to Node.js. Okay. Okay. So can you explain what is Node.js? So Node.js is the, the it's working a server side JavaScript. Uh, so here it's like a runtime environment. So the actual JavaScript works at the client side, the browser side. So what the so that the that the engine uh, that the, the create engine they put at the server side. Uh, that at the server side we have the other than the the client side modules like uh, like uh, files modules, uh, access modules we have at that uh, runtime environment. So no, just like a runtime environment. Yeah. Okay. So can you explain what is event loop? So event loop is uh, so uh, actually uh, for example when uh, when uh, an event happen is 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 within the one callback function and that callback function uh, within the, uh, goes to and within the other and the callback function it's like a event loop so it's like a queue one after the other it will it will continue it's a, so one after one after the event it continue it's like a loop so that's the event loop yeah yeah okay. So what is thread pool and which library not there is handling thread pool? Sure. Thread pool. Thread pool. No. I don't. Actually, I, I use the express module, or files module, URL module, and some middleweights, uh, some security modules. Yeah, this, this type of stuff. Okay. How do you handle a large file upload in Node.js? Suppose if I need to upload a 1 GB file in a Node.js, how do you handle this? So in the Express module, uh, uh, I have, uh, in the post one, in post one, we have the one upload. So we, the second argument will pass the upload. The, the upload function to take the, it will check the upload file size, size and everything. So for the second argument, take the upload, uh, then it will, it will go to one other callback function, that up, upload callback function. I will check the other file size and the file types, all those things. They reckon. Okay, how do you handle this? Suppose if I uh, upload a 1 GP file, the process will start to. Then we will take the free reading stream, right? We will take the reading stream and then we will check it out. Okay. How do you handle this? We are using a reading stream. stream. How do you handle it? this? For the streaming module, I'll take the files that files module and then in the, the reading stream. So I'll get the by size by size data and check that one. Okay. Are you familiar with SQL or no no SQL? In my SQL I have familiar now no SQL MongoDB I have it. Okay. How do you achieve join in MongoDB? In join so actually, one, uh, okay, okay. So actually in the mysql we have the joins relationship management in the mysql so coming to the uh, mongodb uh, first i will get based on the id uh, find by id and, so, and then i will get results and then results that comes come such in other other table yeah okay you tell you you are using a find but how can we achieve a join in MongoDB? So, so what happens first I will get a base by file in the ID. So and then I can uh, we have the lookup look up right. So look up look up thing I can use it. Okay. So what is middleware? So middleware like uh, so before uh, we have different types of middleware. So many ways we can use the, uh, the valid request data or the valid response data. The other time we can use this type of middleware. So like body parts or like something like that. 
okay so can get accept a body request body request body can http get method accept request body actually get actually get access all the parameters your parameters it is actually your parameters data when the post will get the access the request body okay so how do you handle suppose if user only able to hit our api uh, 5 per second means how do you handle this that means so every suppose five if seconds, every se five seconds you will get the you are hitting the api call Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. Suppose if you have one one user need to hit our API only uh, five requests per second. How do you handle this? So in the uh, yeah, in the, for every request I get one. Uh, I will get one increment value based on that. I will check that request value, the increment value. If you increase the five, then I will return that uh, almost all requests and. Okay, so you are saying increment the value, right? Yeah. So every request is become a new, right? How do you increment those value? It always zero when you start the API. So generally, can use socket at the time, uh, and yeah, uh, otherwise the other I will check the uh, uh, the thing socket it will check the identifier. Yeah, okay, so can you list down the features of ES6? Yes, you want the ES6 features? Yeah. In ES6, they introduced the let, where, let and constant, that is one thing. And we have they introduced the spread operator, rest operator. And they have the uh, destruction, object destruction, error destruction. And uh, arrow, uh, spread, uh, the arrow functions. Um, Add um, a so this type of uh, they introduced. So that's all from my end. Coming, mm, you okay. want to ask anything? So if I select the, I mean, which type of project I need to work on? I need to work a full full stack or you will say it only. Yeah, full stack. Yeah, full stack. It's a full stack. Okay, fine. So, generally, which domain your project is? Logistics. Logistics. Okay. 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 That's it from my okay. okay, so do you have any question to ask? No. Um, Surya, I do not have any questions with you, Surya. Yeah, okay, thank you, Tamim. So, no. uh, Kiran, do you have any question to us? No, it's uh, just from my end. No questions. Yeah, thank you, Karan Kumar. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much, Karan. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye.